<laughs> Holy shit, who's this guy? Dude, look at it. It's for the thumbnail. Looks like nice. someone dope, someone won a baseball hat a flashy here. Flashy hat. Did you get that at a beer box? Beer box? Yeah. Looks no, like no, no, no. It, no. Come no I got this no? off the internet. Oh, we got ah. half half of us are in cool hats and half of us are just... Just cool. I don't yeah. know if you call just mine cool bumpers. or not, but it's something. That's for sure. Piss. Some of us team don't hat need over hats. Here. Team, team hat over here, team hair over there. Yep. Team hat hair, versus team hair. hair. All right, everybody. Yeah. First things first. Don't forget, we have a Patreon, and if <laughs> you guys sure want to get bombarded with even more, do you want to cool get four shit? emails a day every I'm Wednesday? Sorry to everybody on the Patreon who gets bombarded bombarded with emails, there's no way for me to not do that. Is that I just looked, how the system works? I looked, at, yeah. you know, in order for me to post the way it, the way it like looks good on the thing, it's like shitty. So, anyways, just uh, delete those emails if you don't like them. <laughs> Yeah. You, can, you can opt out. You can opt out of getting them too. Sure. Sure. Okay, there you go. Sure. But you but shouldn't. Then you won't know when we got some rad new content. So. Unless it's Wednesday and then you'll know. Yeah, yeah. just sure it's well, every Wednesday, yeah. isn't it? Just remember <laughs> yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. How hard is it to remember Wednesday? We did get some. Uh, I don't know. Hump Hang day, on. right? Hang on. Yeah, it's supposed to be. That's the day. most important day. Yeah. There are more beers hiding. Camels. Oh. What camels do? Yeah, uh, stairs uh, in a fridge. fridge. Grab one out of the fridge. Ah, Gross. Oh, shit. They're cold. What? what? Yeah, Wait, bro. Mike, clunk, clunk. There it goes. Yeah, I was waiting for that sound. Sweet. The mic drop. Jono drops the mic. He's out of here. The plop plop. The mic plop. <laughs> the mic flop. Okay, we got a lot. We Slop got, and plop. I asked, uh, I asked a bunch of people on Instagram for <coughs> questions. I saw that. What were the answers? Are we doing a Q&A today? Holy smokes. Ooh, yeah, we'll, do a little, we'll do a, start out with a Q&A. <laughs> get, the, get the juices flowing. Get the brain moving. My brain is especially slow because I was outside delivering letters for like two hours. It's yeah, cold, dude. man. It says it's, it's only cold. Well, it says it's skating. minus six. Yeah, but you were like doing sports. Yeah. I, I was, was just fucking sniping was just top cheddar, buddy. Entering things into my phone and putting letters into stuff. It was cold. I thought I was going to die. It sucked. Damn, these glasses Ooh, are nice. crazy, man. Yeah, they're pretty dope. They like, they put like a. Piss tone on everything. <laughs> like, piss tone. Looking at the world through piss tone. All right, glasses. all right. Okay, we got a bunch of questions. Sweet. I wasn't here for that. All but. right, let's answer them. Okay, here we go. Do we each answer them separately? It's from or? Chris. Uh, Chris who? Chris, Chris Seger? Ford. Chris Seger? Oh. Uh, question for the pod, bros. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I meet you guys, oh, when I meet when I met you guys, I asked for some music recommendations. You told me about Vicious Rumors and Halloween. Sick. Two bands I hadn't heard of at that point. What are your top three bands that don't get enough recognition or are underrated? Ooh. Well, I'll start. Uh, there's this band called Metallica. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't think anyone They're pretty knows. underground. Yeah. Yeah. Might not have heard of them before. No. Underground bands, hey? Yeah. What's the, your recommendation? Well, I mean, Halloween isn't really underground. Yeah. So no, I'm sorry. Maybe. But just, I mean, it is if you're like a uh, fucking, you listen to the bear or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> if if sure. you're a Metallica Papa Roach, Slipknot kind of guy. It might be. Yeah, it might be a little under the I'd under say the covers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, all right, Jono. You, all right. you kick us off. We'll Give five. us your top. You, everybody gets yeah. one. Okay. You okay. Get sure. okay. Everybody gets one. Uh, I'll go with Loathe. Oh. I think. Uh, I mean, they are kind of in the process of doing one of these, but yeah. they are highly, highly underrated. They should not be opening for whatever fucking tour they're on. They should oh. be the headliner band, in my opinion. Damn. Well, there you go. So, they uh, fucking slap, dude. Uh, slap, slapper Drew. So you are. Wait, is he doing three? No, no, no. You no, we're doing five okay. each. We'll do, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. All right, Tim. It's going to be the whole yeah, right podcast. <laughs> I'm going to say uh, Dance with the Dead, which Ooh. is like a synthwave metal thing yep. from, I think they're from Vancouver. Cool. That's and, like, yeah. And genius. anyways, they do, uh, I think before when they first started, they have like a, a bunch of different albums and their albums are all like uh, horror themed. Um, and the first couple were sort of more electronic synthwave dance style but as they've progressed it's more and more metal and there's like sick guitar solos and stuff in it it's pretty yeah, sweet. sweet sweet also fun fact about them uh unleash the archers opened with like yeah. that was their that was their walk on, on the music. tour we did yeah the walk on music or the pre shred music pre shred nice Pete, you got one yeah, I'm looking at... He's got a bunch Google. of different... Google. Cool mm -hmm. unknown <laughs> bands. <laughs> uh, it's this guy I work with sometimes. He's got, he's got a... Ah, there you go. Uh, drastic of sorts. Mm. He's uh, The guy writes and produces all of his own music. It's sort of progressive instrumental stuff. Um, 
Mm. And uh, I don't think he tours or anything. He's, he's like a video editor guy. But um, his tunes are sick to listen to. Like if you're nice. if you're working like a, a a desk job or anything like that, mm. and you just can listen to music in the background, it's super chill. Music shit. to concentrate to. I sent it to <laughs> you. You probably ignored it. <laughs> Bro, uh, <laughs> I do not school. recall this happening. <laughs> oh, the balls uh, do anyway. some gummies. I thought well, you might like it. As well. Anyway, yeah, drastic of sorts. Maybe check it out. I don't know. That's the first oh, thing man. I thought of today. Plug in the um, plug in my pal. I'm gonna say. In the same vein as these ones that he mentioned, Vicious Rumors. Okay, yeah, that's probably oh, I'll, go, yeah, I'll go for yeah. an old school one. Uh, uh, the band Hellstar from oh, shit, yeah. Texas. They're, from Texas? They're, yeah, their uh, Nosferatu one. album is fucking sick. Nice. Dope. Sponsored it's, by Bucky's. Yeah. <laughs> it's, very, it's like technical, sort of like technical speed metal, thrash metal. It's kind of hard to put a label on it a little bit. Didn't Simon's old band do a tour with them, yeah, like a big yeah. tour with them yeah. or something? Yeah, sick. Was it Hellstar and Vicious Rumors, or were those two different tours? Well, the know. singer... You're the expert here. The singer from... I wasn't either of those Simon tours. <laughs> You're the Simon expert. The uh, singer from <laughs> Hellstar was on tour with Vicious Rumors, maybe was what it was. I'm not sure if Ooh. they were on tour with Hellstar. I but James they, yeah, Rivera. he was filling in yeah. vocals or something, wasn't and he? And he did an album yeah. with... Uh, Vicious rumors, right. Warball, which is sick. That's Anyways, check we, that out. we need Simon here to clear up the uh, yeah the rumors the that rumors. we're making. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure Simon did a tour with Hellstar and then one with Vicious Rumors. Maybe. Anyway, <laughs> quite possibly, quite possibly. Okay, follow up Ooh. answer uh, question. We want to follow up on the potato diet. Oh, I think I might have talked about it a little bit. Can't you I, see how much healthier Dan looks? I can talk about yeah, <laughs> His dude. Beard clearly, is I've ascended. Yeah, my beard's gotten twice as long. Your it's beard insane. is thicker for sure. I'm slowly, I'm, I'm morphing into like a baseball guy. That's gonna be my new uh, thing. I'm gonna be a baseball guy. Fuck I mean, he's wearing the baseball. glasses to hide the circles around his eyes yeah. from lack of nutrients. Yeah, but nutrients. aside from that, yeah, yeah. The yeah. potato diet makes. I your mean, beard it's thicker. been. Like a month since I did that now, but oh, yeah, <laughs> anyways, so. uh, recovered. what flies, happened look. with the potato diet was I ate it f- potatoes for seven days and Fuck a few that. nights I felt like I was going to die for some reason. <laughs> you didn't look too happy about it most of the time. It wasn't great. <laughs> I don't, I didn't even, I, the, the main part, I didn't even weigh myself to see if there was a significant <laughs> oh, change. Shit. I like, I forgot to weigh Die myself failed. at the start and I was like halfway through, I was like, oh shit, I should have weighed myself to <sighs> see. Gotta yeah, do it man. again. So, um, in the end, it's like, it almost ruined potatoes for me. Fuck. <laughs> Yikes. You know, I, 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 do a, no. I do a similar thing every time I'm making like instant noodles or like ramen or something like that. I'll put the water in, I'll start boiling it, and then I'll put the noodles in. And then halfway through cooking the noodles, I'll usually find out that I didn't put enough water in because I didn't manage to measure <laughs> it. And then I'm like, oh, fuck. So I try to add water, and then, you know, that doesn't work very well. well the, like, you know the secret, though. Just follow the packages. That too, but instructions. Just boil water, like in a kettle. That's yeah. faster than you can add it. Yeah, but it cooks them differently, though, I think. It's boiled water. Yeah, but it, it doesn't keep <laughs> boiling as you cook them. You could just yell at it really loud. I, that, or that, slap that might the be water. a good idea. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. I tried to help. I don't know. I'll this might be this might be beyond what anyone can help you with here. <laughs> I don't know. It's silly. I just you can you microwave know. it. Yeah, It'd work. Yeah, I I've also microwaved instant noodles before. You put them in with the water and an egg, actually. Yeah, a that, raw egg, and I then was, you microwave it for like three minutes. I tried dope. Oh, uh, because we did that one too. I think it was a Death Angel tour or something. Mm-hmm. We were eating ramen a lot, and yep. then I was like, oh, I want to eat like ramen, and I want to put the egg in it. Fuck yeah! And I didn't know shit about cooking it, so I'd like just have my soup ready and then i just put a raw egg in, and i'm like this isn't cooking what the fuck and i just have disgusting like <laughs> raw egg water yeah raw <laughs> egg water and i tried that like a bunch uh, of times and i just hell? fucked it up this every time gross. anyways i suck at that and wow. i'm bad at cooking eggs that's yeah. my story about well, that yeah you got to cook it first that's, yeah that's the, part, that's the step you missed zero in cooking knowledge eggs. of like <laughs> yeah. thermodynamic like, it's usually eggs, this eggs warm eggs water will cook this egg well, <laughs> you boil water it'll cook an egg yeah, well, yeah, yeah but not warm, warm water no 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 warm water <laughs> i wonder if you could like crack an egg and if you left it in your armpit for long enough it would <laughs> if it would at least solidify a bit like on a uh, really probably hot just day dry really hot day <laughs> and like fucking why would you why would you crack it just like hard boil it hard boil it in your, in your armpit yeah oh, I wonder if that would work <laughs> armpit I bet you people in Sevilla but? Spain can do that oh yeah probably yeah. plus 50 stick fuck. a fucking egg in your armpit and cook it nasty dude okay next question <laughs> <laughs> that's enough egg talk yeah. let's get, move on here yeah. uh, next question yeah, is another one uh, favorite underground 
bands from different countries you've been to. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh. I got a long list of that. Uh, I got one. There's a band called, um, I think they're from Portugal. We played with them in France a long time ago. They're, we Are the Damned. Oh, cool. They have a cool album. I nice. can't remember the name of it, but it's it's cool. It was like one of the first bands that were were like of the style they are, which is a little more like, it's like sort of like blackened hardcore kind of or something like that, if that makes sense. Cool. Or like it's it's death metal, but it's a little more punk or something like that. Okay. Anyways, hmm. it's very cool. So good uh, album. We are the damned. I can't remember the fucking name of the album though, but whatever. It's one of them. It's an older one. Two thousand eleven or something. It's dope. All right. Pete, Me? what do you think? Yeah. Oh fuck. What am I gonna go for here? Uh, I'm gonna go with a band <laughs> from Japan, of course, called Hell Dump. Hell Dump. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome, man. <laughs> they wear like. Like old, like remember the WWE, WWF tag team? They were like the Warriors with the oh, spikes yep, on their shoulders. Yep. What the fuck were they called again? Ah, oh, god damn it, the spiky guys. With the, yeah, I know what you're you talking about. Yes. Anyway, they weren't like the Road Warriors. The they? Road Warriors, exactly. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Okay. Um, so they kind of look like some of them. Kind of look like the Road Warriors, and they're like this post-apocalyptic, like horror heavy metal comedy band. And their live show is just fucking hilarious, man. Mm-hmm. Sounds and pretty good. The one guitar player, he wears like this this bike helmet or like motorbike helmet, but it's like one of the silly looking round ones. And he's got these huge like bubbles style glasses and he's just like <laughs> bobs around as he's playing. He's this tiny, skinny little guy, man. And then the singer is like this massive, huge guy and they like got fucking horned helmet and spikes. They're, like they're cool. Guar, right? A little bit. They're like a cross between. Wow. Well, they're not quite as monsterish as Guar, no. Like they're okay. not, I don't okay. think they're dressed up as monsters. I think the thing was like they're a they're from a different planet or if they're from space or something. Well, I guess Guar is. Too. Yeah, isn't that Guar? <laughs> but no, Are you just, sure you're not talking Gwar about Guar? They're, no, yeah. they're not. They're not the do same they also as like to spew liquid on their crowds? <laughs> no, they don't do that. Well, I don't think so. Anyway, I think they do the liquid spewing backstage. Um, as as, as per usual, though. Um, uh, yeah, no, Hell Dump. They're cool. Hell Dump from Japan. They're fucking hilarious, man. And they might only, I don't remember, they might only be funny if you can understand Japanese, but, you know. I mean, I, I can't understand that. Japanese. It probably wouldn't be funny to me. <laughs> no. Yeah, just like, I don't know. It sounds like metal. <laughs> They're cool. They're Noise. very underground. Very, very underground. Cool. Yeah. Noise. Very cool. Uh, for my band, I want to say, uh, what's the Toilet Shark band from Italy? Oh, shit. Oh, Explorer. Yeah. Explorer. Yeah. Explorer. So... You probably haven't heard of them, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're totally awesome. They have their, I think it's the first album. I think they have two now. Uh, I believe it's called Sober Deserve to Die. Yeah, Sober Deserve to Die. So all of the songs are like absolutely hilarious, uh, like English as a second la- language kind of stuff, but also all the, all the songs are just so fucking funny. It's like Toilet Shark, I'm the shark, I eat you. <laughs> Anyways, Bite your ass. In yeah, the there's uh, Explorer. With, yeah, I think maybe two X's. I can't yeah, uh, something like that. Mm, uh, yeah, Smart. Explorer. That's my. Uh, that's not pick. as many X's as I've got. And where are they from? Sorry, Italy. Italy. <laughs> Italy. We did play with them. <laughs> I think <laughs> twice. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. Why maybe, we gonna play maybe them again? three times? Maybe three times. And they've since become like a more uh, like a more serious band. Like yeah. Their first oh. album was very like silly. I mean, like that. Yeah, we did that silly. too. I mean, our yeah. first album was very silly. Full and speed, no speed. Yeah. Great. I mean, even like the EP with like, you know, Keg of Crush New York, that yeah. kind of shit. But yeah, anyways. Good fun, nice. man. That, I think that band <laughs> album is the, probably the only thing that got me through those long drives through Alabama. I think it was <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> I was passed out that entire time. <laughs> Alabama. Uh, my choice. I'll go. Uh, it's a band from Norway. It's a two piece. They're called Pill and Boo, which means uh, bow and arrow in English. Pill and Boo. And, yeah. Why they just call themselves bow and arrow? Well, they're Norwegian, so no, they can call themselves no. whatever they want. No, no, <laughs> no. Uh, You'll yeah. never make it in this market. They have a. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> they have a really good album called. Uh, it's like something like "Forget the Past, Let's Worry About the Future," and uh, they're like <laughs> grungy, <laughs> bluesish, like two piece rock, oh, like kind of two piece. Yeah, yeah, two piece. One just, guy play guitar and bass. Nope, just guitar and drums. Oh. Uh, I think he's got like an octave pedal going on. So it's like if yeah, heavy black metal keys white were good, basically. Roasted. Oh. Yeah. Shit. I would have picked for called? a black Pill keys kind of guy. Boo. Pill and boo. I think I, I could be boo, boo, like mispronouncing it, but B-U-E. You don't like black keys? Uh, I like one of their albums, and then everything else is just kind of. Oh. Eh, whatever. 
I what see. about the white keys? John only Never likes asked. full steps, <laughs> no half steps. Oh, that's true. There's half steps and white keys too. Never yeah. mind. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Sweet answer. Your question has been answered. There you go. The history of Tusca Demon Killer. Demon Killer? I don't know what that is. I feel like it might be a Warzone reference. Or not Warzone, uh, Warhammer. Mm. Uh, I got a Maybe. bunch of info about orcs the other day too, man. Apparently, yeah, they do. They're born in mushrooms and know they cannot have sex. So they do not have sex. They did you watch the, Did you watch that video I sent? No. What, did I, was I telling you about it? I don't know. You you were giving me a lot of information too, but then somebody else filled me in <laughs> a, on a whole bunch of orc lore, man. Dude, orcs are wow. hilarious. That are great. <laughs> orcs are fucking. Oh uh, yeah. Man. Okay. Well, we can't do another fucking full like thing of orcs. <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna become an orc core band? Orc or so I didn't see your orc, uh, the striker orc. Yeah, the content you put. Orc, 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 orc. Like a big orc, and it was like, this is a guy talk about orc stuff, and this is you on your way to work or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Us memeing up, memeing up a storm. I chortled. Nice. I chortled. All right. Well, I don't know what that is, so chortled? I'm assuming that it's pretty cool or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Must be good. Okay, this topic. Next topic. Zombies. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me. Zombies are sweet. I, yes. uh, I just asked people for a topic, not necessarily a question. Oh, sure. So th this, uh, this one zombies. is zombies. So I, I can take this one somewhere. Bro, okay. fuck zombies, dude. If, what if, a played out fucking yeah, thing. I'm if, past if, it. If the zombie apocalypse happened and you could only have one weapon to get out of the city you're in into like a less populated area, what would your broad weapon of choice be? Broadsword. Broadsword? Easy broadsword. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super That's sharp broadsword. <laughs> Know. You know, it's probably it's probably a good choice. Yeah. You need like a big ass fucking okay. yeah. you need range. You know what? You spear. Need... Oh, spear might be good. Spear's classic. That's that's what uh what propelled what's that? Like, the what's Roman the... legions or Hel whatever. Halbert? Oh, Halbert? Halbert? Yeah. Oh, the Jim Halbert. Yeah. <laughs> the Jim Halbert? Yeah. Because you got range. You don't want those zombies long... near you. You, yeah. you need to poke them away. Okay, but what if they get close? Yeah, what if there's a whole shitload of them? Bash, poke, 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 poke. Okay, well, my answer is two broadswords. So okay. I'm twice nice. as cool Two broadswords for hands? Nice. Yeah. You don't have hands, yeah. <laughs> they ate your hands off. You just replaced it yeah. with broadswords? Yeah. Sick. Double broadsword. Cool. See, see, that's cool. foolish because I don't think you could swing them. Yeah. Unless you're a barbarian. It's a two-handed sword. No, You'd have to have the perk. It's and four you, hands. Oh. <laughs> what? Like, it, instead of hands, it's broadswords. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. That's what we just said. Yeah. Hmm. All right, <laughs> there you go. Easy. All right. Idiot. Fuck. All right. What was yours, Pete? Oh, I didn't even think of one. I was just listening to you guys. Um, <laughs> um, could I get like helicopter? A, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was gonna say, could I get like a, you know, like a, those wood chippers? Ooh, that'd but be like nice. a car with a wood chipper on all four sides. <laughs> That's what I want. So like, no matter would get jammed up. No matter what area they come at me from, it just fucking chews them up and spits them out <laughs> until you run out of gas. It would get jammed up. Yeah, and it doesn't run on gas. It runs uh, on the fucking awesomeness of it runs my on survival. Blood. It runs on the blood of <laughs> yeah, the, the fucking zombies. zombies. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's perfect. All right, next topic. There we go. Far zombies fetch. solved. Go. Zombies solved. Uh, okay, we video games. That one. Video games and B movies. Video games Ooh, and B movies or in B movies and oh okay. so you can B I mean if we go we've we've I think we've talked about video games to fucking death dude Bro. love them yeah. so, video games are dope um but we o we only play like the fucking most chudly ones <laughs> Warzone that kind of shit Apex yeah Apex like we're sweet. we're like the basic white girl of video game dudes <laughs> i have a bunch of cool games download well purchased on steam but i haven't actually yeah it's because why would them. you play those when you can play warzone with oh. the boys <laughs> oh, I, I downloaded disco elysium that, that one's supposed to be dope so i have it on my computer I haven't opened it yet is that like a top down free. shooter one no it's a uh some kind of rpg i think you're like a detective or something mm. and it's like a uh, rp Story driven RPGs, so you're like going around and investigating shit. I don't know, I haven't done it, but yeah, okay. everybody's like, Wow, that's a fucking amazing game! Sounds like a lot of work, yeah. Pfft. Investigating, you gotta think. Ugh, gross. I just want to play the new Spider Man dude. game, it was pretty sweet. Nice, yeah, I dig it. Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. I don't really watch a lot of movies, so I don't have a lot of B, B uh, insight on B movies. I've yeah. watched plenty. Palenti. I watched like, a B movie. Would it yeah. would this be considered a B movie? It's called like uh Banshees of Inish Inisharan or something. Sounds like it. It's this one. Uh spoilers. 
for the next five seconds. But it's about this, uh, these two guys that live in this like tiny ass little town in Ireland or something. And uh, they're best friends and they've been friends their entire life. And then one day the one guy's like, you're really fucking boring. I don't want to be your friend anymore. Roasted. And it's a, basically it's about the one guy being driven. The guy that's, uh, doesn't want to be friends with the other one basically gets pushed to insanity, chops off all his fingers, Sweet. like throws him at the guy. He's also like a world-class musician. So it's like, face, yeah, up and smoke it's a fucking great movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very, very good movie. Oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> I forgot about that fucking part. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> he rolled up and smoked them. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm trying to think of a, man. Uh, I know why. On, I know the, on the spot for a B movie, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Uh, Frank and Hooker. You guys know Jesus, that one? No, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I, yeah, I have seen that. It's so fucking good. <laughs> this guy like chops up a bunch of hookers and like keeps the body parts in his in his freezer. And I can't remember exactly how, but somehow the maybe he puts them together. But uh, yeah, he he's trying together. to yeah, he's trying, he's trying to build his like ideal woman or something. I think right. So he puts these, all these hooker parts together, and then he's gonna try and like build a woman out of all these parts, right? But she comes to life and escapes onto the street and is trying to, because the only thing her brain knows is how to hook. How, just hooking. <laughs> so she's just like trying to hook. Because a hooker doesn't know anything other yeah, than how to be hooking. <laughs> and she's just like, Dude. it's hilarious, man. She's walking down the street with all these body parts stitched together. Looks like a fucking mess and she's trying to hook and like, oh, the movie's so funny, funny dude. Um, it's my favorite B movie. I'm trying to think. Might man, be a C I just movie. gotta say like a random B movie, but uh, <laughs> Re- Reanimator. Oh, you guys yeah. seen that one? No. Good one. Dude, okay, so There's a Reanimator too. Also. Funny story about Reanimator. Not actually that funny. Actually, kind of sad. But uh, <laughs> so I was watching on. Uh, I think it's on Shutter because mm-hmm. we got Shutter for uh, Halloween. The, yep. the, it's like Netflix for spooky movies or whatever. Ah. Yeah. But um, anyways, I got it for Halloween and then um, just did the classic. Didn't cancel it, so I still have it. <laughs> so I, I was watching. Uh, they have this. It's like a. I think it's a three or four hour long movie, okay, a documentary, and it goes it like just sort of chronicles like all the like horror movies from like sort of the beginning of the eighties to the end of the eighties, mm-hmm. and it's like doing interviews with people, and it goes through like almost every, cool. almost every movie. We were talking to the the chick who's in Reanimator, and there's a scene in Reanimator where the dude, the zombie, is like alive and holding his own head. And the girl is like naked on the table, and she's like she's like strapped down. It's like some sort of experiment going on. I can't remember the. De- it's been a while since I've seen it, but <laughs> in this scene, the dude's holding his own zombie head, and it's like implied that he's like putting his head towards her crotch, and it's like implied. Yeah. It's very close, and then the the actress on there was like, yeah, it was like. Um, really uncomfortable, and I it was sort of like she basically alluded to it being like not consensual. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I was like, holy There's fuck! There's a lot this of those me. stories, dude. From the 80s, man, I was, Damn I couldn't was. believe it, man. And then like they just like filmed that, and they're like, okay, so the next movie is this, and I was like, whoa, go back! Like, what the <laughs> fuck was that? You can't just gloss over that. That was insane. Wow. And then what was crazy is they like flipped to another actress who was like, well, that's just like how it was. And like she, she was just like, it was fine. You want to be a scream queen? Like this is what you got to do. And I was you just like, be a star, don't you? I was like, damn, you guys had different experiences for sure. No kidding. But yeah, it was fucked up. Yep. Sad, but I mean, so maybe don't support that movie. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it it is like it a, it, it is like a cult classic, but <laughs> it it's is like a classic, yeah. it could use without. It could be, but you know, dude, done without that scene if, probably. If, if you boycotted every movie that had like shady shenanigans going on behind the scenes, I bet if you really knew the truth about them, every movie that you like, you'd probably have, you probably wouldn't have very many favorite movies left. I don't know. I mean, there's like, how many movies that exist. There's probably other ones that are good that you could find too. I, I don't can know. only watch yeah. Avatar or Avatar yeah, Two. Really only watch yeah. Pixar movies because yeah. I'm guaranteed no actors were actually ne- mm-hmm. no voice actors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the for the Woody sex scene, they had to like. <laughs> Wait, what? You you guys have watched Toy Story four, right? Yeah, yeah. The Woody sex scene. You didn't have a sex scene, dude. I don't remember a sex scene, but no? that's the one where the strawberry movie, so. bear tries to throw everybody in the garbage. I must have watched the wrong one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There's no sex scene in there. Anyways, yeah, there's that, a snake in like, my ass. That's like with fucking um uh, 
like R. Kelly and you know any any artist that's been like Chris Brown. That or, shit. It's like yeah. It's like man. At some point they get <laughs> fucking broke. <laughs> he got him. Uh, it's like yeah. At what point are you just like you know what we don't we don't do- listen to this anymore. Like Aziz yeah. Ansari yeah. had that joke he did in his one stand up special where he was like, "How many kids does Michael Jackson have to allegedly molest before you stop listening to?" thriller yeah and then you like ask the crowd they're like is it like a thousand and the guy's like yeah probably and he's like so it's decided michael jackson can uh, molest the 999 kids Jesus. before we stop listening to his music it's just like man it's kind of crazy but allegedly uh, anyways <laughs> uh, wow that's a great topic <laughs> good topic yeah. well, definitely B- not gonna B-movies? get censored off fucking B-movies. YouTube. from b movies to nah. michael jackson's TV we gotta, they can't censor the truth man yeah bro uh, I think they can. Actually. Instrument review. <laughs> instrument review. Okay, we can't really do that. We don't have our instruments here. Instrument review. Well, I mean, we can talk about them. Yeah. Okay. No. Definitely want to hear about your instruments is the question. No. Okay. Wow. Well, I got well, this kazoo. <laughs> um, here's my instrument right here. This is the mic I use. Mm-hmm. That's also the mic, mic I use. Mic. Oh, yeah. shit. Cool. I, I invented those mics. For anybody who's a singer out there, this is the best one, I think. It's the Sennheiser E... 945. 945. It's actually significantly hotter than your regular 58, hey? It sounds way fucking better. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was surprised. With this mic, I had like live sound guys be like, what mic are you using? It's like really suits your voice. And I'm like, no, I think it just sounds better than what (laughs) you're used to. Just not It literally just sounds better. And then I was like, oops, and I turned the backing tracks off. (laughs) (laughs) Wait a minute. Shut up. What happened? What happened to your mic, man? Shut up. What happened to your so yeah, mic? that's my instrument, and then my voice, which is riddled with acid <laughs> reflux. So don't worry about that. Nice. <laughs> What's your instrument, Pete? My instrument is a four-stringed slug of a bugger called a bass guitar. <laughs> <What the laughs> slug, of a slug, of a slug of a bugger, dude. Maybe I'll slow that one down to like oh, slug of a bugger. bugger. There, no, you don't have to. I just saved you some editing time. <laughs> no, can, you say, can you slow that chunk? Yeah, down I'll slow that one. Okay. Okay. So I gotta slow. It. Now I gotta say it's slower than that. So you gotta slow that one down. As we're gonna have like Inception here. Anyway, um, slow, no, I play, I play a, a Schecter uh, stiletto bass guitar, and it's, it's my favorite bass guitar in my life so far. Um, until somebody comes along and gives me artist pricing on one that I like better. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sure. Okay. Boomy. Sweet. Jay, so Tim, how many guitars do you own? Do you know offhand? Uh, five U- USA Jackson soloists plus Jesus. a You're warrior a then. and a Rhodes. Those are the Jacksons. And then I also have an Edwards Kiko guitar, which is dope as fuck. And then I ordered a uh, a Jackson Custo Master Built for my birthday last year so it should arrive for my birthday this year and it's uh, a neon crackle finish so that one should be dope as fuck it's uh, full custo so yeah nice. that one should be dope as fuck was it gonna say your name on it? no it won't actually maybe that'll be the next custo mm. there you go when I, when I get the artist signature series just get impact yeah. font on, right on the front, Tim Brown. Yeah. <laughs> big fucking no, not comic papyrus. Sans. Comic, <laughs> comic Sans. Tim Brown. It'd be funny. If it was like a white guitar and then just black text on it. It should just, just be different Tim, fonts yeah. that say Tim Brown yeah, on that'd it. Be pretty yeah, cool, that could actually. be. Yeah. Might look yeah, cool yeah, actually. Yeah. Each lots it, of good fonts. Each uh, fret marker is a different uh, letter of your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it could be like a different uh, font as well on each one. Ooh. That it's like Tim Brown, Tim Brown, Tim Brown, Tim <laughs> Brown, different fonts. You make all the designers mad. <laughs> Just goddamn zero <laughs> resale, zero resale value. <laughs> have have all the letters like slightly misaligned and all like there you fucked go, up. Yeah. Yeah. Just right. a row nice. Of Pete. John O is itching go. to talk about his drums. I play drums. Yeah, I have three drum sets, ish. Got like half of one still, so I got two and a half, uh, six snare drums, and I just recently signed a deal with Pearl. I don't think I've actually said that publicly yet. So that's cool. Got a uh, shiny new set of drums on my way on their way shortly. Oh, so yeah. oh shit, oh, well, they, I mean it'll no way, be a while. A full but set? yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah. They're still cutting yeah, the yeah, trees yeah. down. Shout out to Pearl. It's not made out of wood. 
Oh, so, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, would you get some special? We'll just have to wait and see. Acrylic, oh. dude. We'll have to wait and see. Are you gonna play acrylic drums and wear no clothes behind the drum set? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds fun. Except cool. for a black condom that you put over your balls as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like a sock. So just do the chili peppers <laughs> thing. Yeah. They actually have those that are fitted for balls. They're called baldums. <laughs> it's true. And there's a brand of them called the Black the Black Knight Baldum, and it's a jet black condom that goes on your dick and balls. <laughs> <laughs> for when you really need to be safe. Yeah, for when, for them real. No. For those man. nights when you really go slumming it. <laughs> I wonder if they have ones that are like I'm boxers. sorry, Donald. I fucked your, you fucked um, your story up. We <laughs> it. I'm sorry, dude. No, dude. There, that was all I'm not that sorry, I but don't I'm a little bit really have any interest in talking about gear, if I'm being honest. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, Donald's sick, too dude. cool for the Donald's the only one who just got a fucking free drum set. It's way cooler than we are. It's like artist pricing. still significantly cheaper. Yeah. Okay, so Tim and Jono. Oh, any stories about being out in the boonies? Rural Berta shows. <laughs> Rural shows. Berta. Berta, oh. for you people who aren't from here, is short for Alberta, where yeah. we're from. Yeah. I do, actually. Um, we played... I was going to bring this up when uh, Rav was on here, but the uh, we played... We were playing, like, this show... Fuck, where was that? I want to say Athabasca or something. It was, like, small town up north, and there was a lake near it i don't think it was at the basket anyways a small alberta town we're playing with this band called dead reckoning which i don't think is a band anymore uh this is probably like i don't know 10 years ago um this was with my old old band called six gun and we went and we played on like the friday night and there was like i don't know 50 people in the bar it's just like a small alberta rural show there's just like bar flies there basically and then uh they liked us so much the ba- the band that we were playing with because they were doing like the the weekend and they're like oh you guys should stay here and play on Saturday too and we're like okay and then so they included a hotel room uh for us like for the for the weekend and we're like okay sweet and <laughs> and then the the next night like everybody just decided to get fucking hammered. And so, like, there, there's the bar, and then there's, like, this hotel up above it, and it's kind of, like, in an L shape. And then, uh, so we had, like, our rooms over on one side of the L, and then on the other side, that's where everybody else's rooms were. And so everybody decided to start, like, partying. And we had, like, I don't know, like, six rooms or something between the the bands. And then everybody just starts, like, it was almost like a snowball fight, but instead of snow, is just bottles and, like, anything that you can find in your room or just hucking shit at each other crazy (laughs) like the other side people are like throwing shit out the window bottles of people yeah anyways rcmp showed up and like i had just happened to be in my room like getting another beer or something and the rcmp goes to the other side and just starts like hauling people out i'm just like oh shit i like go out the room Look and see like the chaos that's happening. I'm just gonna head back into my room here. <laughs> Go like under the sheets. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be asleep the whole time, officer. <laughs> These kids are making such a racket. Anyways, yeah, that's damn, that's what happened. Damn. It there. It's pretty fun. Oh, and then I remember afterwards, the RCMP left, and then <laughs> whoever was left, we like went out to the front area and, and continued. Yeah, basically. <laughs> no, somebody bought like a whole bunch of fireworks and just started setting them off. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Right. We had a we had a fireworks fight in rural BC. Classic. I that's where like my music festivities and or activities started. Uh wrong ivities. Um <laughs> the wrong ivities there. Uh, started in rural BC cuz I'm not from it's very here, similar like though. You guys. I mean, it's not that different. It's, really it's more mountains now. More mountains. Um, more forest fires. More yeah. mountain air to more, make people go crazy. More granolas, <laughs> you know. Um, so, but uh, I think the craziest thing that happened playing in those uh, towns was this one time we had a um, a fan that was such a big fan that. I'm gonna have to save this story for the Patreon. <laughs> yeah, this Ayo. might be. A, I think I know where this is going. Yeah, but it's, it's definitely a, a Patreon exclusive. It's, <laughs> it's a Patreon exclusive. But let me just say that she was so into the band that um, the band was into her. <laughs> no, 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 not all. Well, maybe one no, of us, no, but no. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. But um, she. Well, how do I put this nicely? She ended. Don't up, give it away. She yeah. ended up in a something, getting covered in something. Um, and we'll just save <laughs> the rest for the Patreon. Yeah, so right. come hang out if you want to find <laughs> out my 
British Columbia story. Uh, I I got a good one. Ooh, yeah, what's up? Um, it's more of just like a funny quote. So we played at this uh, town called Elkford. Oh, I grew up like a half hour from there. Really? Yeah, this place sucks, dude. dude in Alberta? <laughs> in Alberta. Oh, there's an Elkford in Alberta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, shit. Yeah, you may, it might be a different one. Yeah, it must be. So anyways, this is like a coal mining town that um, like had like one fucking road in. Classic. And dude, that's like right on the other side of the Alberta border. It is in BC. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, then. that's that's literally Which the coal mine crazy. my dad worked at. Why the fuck at. would we be there? Anyway, my my first show was there too. <laughs> Why it, wouldn't Stryker be there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, anyways, we. It's amazing. It could be there. Yeah. Elkford. It must be. Yeah. All right. So, so anyway, anyway, that's your quote. So, <laughs> wow. so we. <laughs> anyways, it's like basically one road into this place, a very yeah. small town, Damn. and uh, we played a show there, which was hilarious. Like it was mostly like you know exactly who you would expect. It was like locals and barflies and stuff. Yeah. And, like, it wasn't like a big scene there. Mm. And, uh, anyways, my favorite quote. From that show, well, there's two. I I gave the microphone to this drunk guy in the front row. Classic, and mistake. he just, what, well, dude? We were like, just fucking totally. Well, we, we were know like, who he is? <laughs> we were like, man, this show is a gong show. So we just like drank a ton of beers and we're just like, whatever. I gave the fucking mic to this dude who was yelling the whole show. Yeah, and I was like, clearly this guy has something to say. So I just gave him the fucking <laughs> nice, mic, nice. and it's on video somewhere. And he gets the fucking mic. And he's just like, you know, it's not like it's fucking kiss or something. And then like that was it. I was like, what the oh, fuck? What a dick. I was, like, I was like, oh, wow. that's cool. Damn. But then hey, that yeah. same guy, he was talking to us after the show, and he's like, we just got our first RCMP officer in the town. <laughs> like before that, they just didn't have anyone. So and he was complaining because he could no longer drink at the bar and then drive home. <laughs> or else the cops oh, would pull him over. Cop. The cop. the cop would pull him over. <laughs> pull him over. <laughs> and he said that there there's him. mountain lions yeah. around like all the time. And he's like, I don't want to drink and then walk home. I might get killed by a mountain lion. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Actually. I mean, if they don't, if they only have one cop, they probably don't have too many cabs or like taxis either. Like yeah, probably yeah. got a couple. And he's like, so. he's like, he's like, he's like, I have to drive down the street, but they won't let me. <laughs> so fucking funny. Do you Jesus. remember uh, the name of the place? Was it called the Lamplighter? I couldn't tell you. Lamplighter so Pub, or was it like a community hall? No, it was a pub. I think it would be probably the Lamplighter. <laughs> yeah. It's probably not too many to choose from. We played there with Cobra and the Lotus. <laughs> wow, really? No, actually, oh my god, in Elkford. Oh, school. That was a long time ago. Long, long Shit, fucking dude. time ago. You got, you got any stories? Yes, but before we go into my story, was that when you were in Cobra, or was that no? Oh, okay, this is way, way before that. Way before. In the long, long ago. Weasel days, uh, the time before time. Yeah, Sick. nice. Uh, there was one time. I don't know. Is Wetaskiwin? It's not really the boonies. That's where cars cost less, though. That is where cars cost less, and that's how I remembered it. I'm like, what the fuck is the name of that town? I'm like, oh yeah, cars cost less in Wetaskiwin. Anyways, um, they had some like stupid family day festival thing, and my what's stupid about family day? Well, <laughs> it's Wetaskiwin. I don't live there. <laughs> Oh. Families suck. No, uh, it it was like I don't know. Just I don't know why my band TDT was asked to do it. We're like not family friendly music at all. But whatever, we get there, and uh, you know, I'm assuming it's going to be a typical festival where there's a stage and a canopy over the stage and a sound guy and a can of pee. None over of those stage? things. There was like a volunteer sound dude. He's like just happened to be there. He's like, oh, I think I know how to do this, and so like. <laughs> Our sound check was like basically the guitarist. He wasn't uh, Tyler wasn't using an amp. He was using an Axe FX, and Quack. the power cable died. It was like <laughs> sending just enough power to turn it on, but it wasn't generating like something was fucked, and it wasn't making any like guitar sounds. It was there just you know. like a clean, basically like country fucking twang sound. <laughs> so we got about three songs in, realized that the the metronome that we were playing along to was blasting through the PA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah. Oh, when when else did that happen? Tick, tick, oh. tick, tick. Born to lose. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, that was about <laughs> what was it, three years ago. Almost to the day. People almost don't forget. 2020. 2020, yeah. People don't forget. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, almost but, to the day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> we, we played like three songs. We're like, oh, fuck this. There was no one there. There was like, I don't know, it was like 35 degrees outside. We're sitting in just open sun just burning it was fucking dumb Jeez. so we oh, shit got drunk <laughs> and that was that 
<laughs> we can we can also talk about uh the striker show at uh oh what the fuck is that town called it was a for a festival called beaver fest have we talked about that on the podcast uh, maybe maybe here and there Mostly just the uh, hijinks, the stealing all the pizza. Yeah, but oh, so like uh, uh, sorry, not stealing, but just eating our share, eating our share, which happened to be all of the pizza, <laughs> <laughs> liberating the pizza from the mouths of the other bands. Yeah, yeah. there's like no, they two, just didn't get enough. So yeah, there's it's like not us. Yeah. Two large pizzas. Not, not, not. You guys for were like underserved. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, It's like, bro, you, we're gonna eat fucking all these pizzas, no cap. Yeah, no <laughs> cap. But that that show was so funny. Where was that like? That was uh, somewhere up north, like an hour or two north of Edmonton. But that show was fucking hilarious because yeah. I remember, I think Gob were one of the headliners. What? Oh, shit, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then, there was like random. tons of bands. Okay, Dude, Gob yeah. used to play all kinds of crazy little small towns. Wow, like you guys. at the ski hill in the f- town of 3,000 people I grew up in. That's weird. So you guys yeah, ate wow. Gob's pizza. Yeah. Nice. But it was funny because I remember because <laughs> they were playing and we had played and I was like, oh, I'm just going to go see what what it's about because that, that festival was like, uh, it was basically just money laundering, I think. <laughs> yeah, it got shut down for I, some bullshit. I think there was uh, more more band members than actual attendees, attendees, yeah. which is hilarious. So anyways, Classic. they have like the full security and the full like fenced off uh area it's like a legit put together festival um and they have like the big stage out and then i went to go watch gob and there's like maybe 10 people and like they, they have like the fence festival grounds fe- fenced off oh they did like the whole fucking shebang and there's no one came yeah and so there was like i don't know maybe 30 <laughs> people in the front of the the audience i'm like man this must feel fucking bad if you're like a legit touring band like gob was at the time or i, I don't know if they're still active yeah, or whatever sure. but it's just like because that was probably like what 10 years ago maybe more and it's just like fuck hmm. that must have sucked you're like oh yeah we're gonna play this cool festival it's like i don't know five five thousand cap festival or something you're probably <laughs> thinking and then they get there and there's like mm, nope. maybe 50 people total <laughs> Woo. In, in terms that was of a rough one that yeah, was that was hilarious, yeah. hilarious. And I'm pretty sure that guy who set that up went to jail. Yeah, real. Because yeah. I think they tried to, or they did buy the pawn shop and they turned it into something else. Whatever. The and then they tried, yeah, the forge, and they tried to burn it down. <laughs> Some. Good, like I mean, it's all rumors. Yeah. I don't know oh. the the truth, but uh, see, I heard that it was the club underneath that had like bad wiring, and there was a fire. I don't know, like an electrical fire or something. Very convenient. And it fucked up the. Like I think they had, they caught someone me. on camera oh, really? throwing like a Molotov cocktail, and then they oh, found shit. like a Molotov cocktail <laughs> remains in the back alley. With Oops. wires in it, so it was a, <laughs> wiring. faulty wiring. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we can, we can all make up rumors about what happened there. I'm pretty sure Dragon flew over and... Who was this? Yeah. I don't know. Some guy. <laughs> it was a scaly. I think it was a scaly that flew over. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, on the other uh, side of the temperature spectrum, I do remember playing in Canmore at the Canmore Hotel. Mm. I think it was for a New Year's show, again, with Six Gun and Rav. Um, the Canmore Hotel? Yeah, the Canmore yeah. Hotel. And this is before they the renovated. Canny-ho. The Canny Ho. The Canny Ho. That place is crazy. It, it, was, it was fun to play there. I, we played there a bunch. Um but uh, we played there, and then I remember everybody got their own room, and so like it's an old hotel. It's like a historic building in Canmore. Yep. <laughs> and the morning after, we we wake up after playing the show, and like I see Rav in the morning. I'm like, How, how's your sleep, man? He's like, fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, why? What do you mean? He's like, the heat didn't work in my fucking hotel room. And then he shows me his water bottle, and it's literally frozen and solid. Oh, Whoa, like, that's fucked up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, his sucks. his hotel room was like below zero degrees. <laughs> nah. and like, ah, shit. Oh, <laughs> no. I mean, my, that my room was a very great, good right. excuse to say shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. Can more? It should is. probably can less. Yeah. But, <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. So anyway, that's that's pretty funny in in retrospect. I'm sure it wasn't funny for him at the time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Wow! All right. All right. Um, uh, oh, it's spun these around. What are your individual tastes in music? What styles? What instruments, sounds, and vocal styles do you mm. like the best? Right. Tim, you can start. Me? Oh well, I've been on a big synthwave kick recently. I guess that's what a couple I fucking years. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm all, sure all every COVID. podcast where hey it's guys, been you guys like synthwave, 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 synthwave. synthwave. Um, I also like to watch just YouTube's. 
Oh, he is, Tibbs. Actually, I was listening to uh, <laughs> <Roasted. running, laughs> listening to Running Wild uh, the other oh, day. Yes. That's pretty dope. I haven't listened yeah, to Running excited. Wild for a long time. Did you Nick. listen to Little Bighorn? No, it was... Uh, uh, Little Bighorn. I think it was the second album. I put that on when I was like making dinner. I was like, this is fucking sweet. Yeah, yeah Running Wild is cool. Yeah, Running Wild is cool. Yeah, because I had Letter Gold on like actual CD. And then um, that was a pretty dope album. But then like if you go... Further back in their discography, it's sort of a little bit more. It's like less power metal and more like classic sort of metal. Classic and maybe a little thrashier and maybe a little proggier because I think they got a different bass player and he was like going berserk with the bass shred. Shred, cool, yeah. nice. Uh, I think he toned down the bass shred later on, but whatever. Like this doesn't sell albums. <laughs> Stop <laughs> yeah. that. What? Yeah. I mean, I thought it was cool, but it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. nobody likes harmonized bass runs. <laughs> Yeah, fuck. That's like why you only chords. have one bass player. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine a band with two guitar players, two bass players? Oh, fuck uh, There's yeah. definitely a band I've seen that has two bass players. What? It yeah. could be dope. It's... Lead and rhythm bass? Yeah. It was just a lot of I think mud. if you had one <laughs> guitar player, maybe, you could maybe pull it off. Yeah, I mean, at that point... creative, but... It, yeah, at that point, it's not it's that different from, list. like, an eight-string guitar and a bassist. Yeah. List. I mean... Yeah. I think it could be cool if you had like a guitar player, like a regular guitar player, then like an eight string guitar player, yeah, and then a bass, and then if you really want to straight a stretch it, maybe like an eight string bass player or something like that. Or you just get a fucking Chapman stick and yeah. play, play play <laughs> just <laughs> one Chapman yeah. stick, no guitarist, yeah. no bassist, no no four guys. Yo, yo you're everybody gonna, you're gonna trigger me again on the those you know irrational. Uh, amount of hatred towards things. <laughs> Chapman stick falls under that. Oh, yeah? really? You hate those things? <laughs> well, it just doesn't sound as good as a regular guitar being played normally. No, but yeah. I, no, I did to. watch a guy play. He, he, it was him and a drummer, and they were doing like, they were doing like some weird experimental, like almost electronic rock music. Mm. Um, I watched them playing Fernie. It was a duo, and they sounded like a full on like fucking skinny puppy band. Yeah. Like it was crazy, and he was tapping the fucking thing like it's just going nuts the whole time. It was fucking. Sick. I could be wrong. Really yeah, Dan, cool. you're wrong. I could be wrong, but it's just like I don't know when you don't pick it. It's just like That's all true. tapping. It's yeah, just like it just doesn't sound to me as good as a regular guitar. Yeah. But I guess it's not a regular guitar. No, so it's whatever. not. It depends what you're. Anyways, it's got like I said it was irrational. Styles, yeah. I, I said it was irrational. If you were going to try to use it as a regular Burn guitar, the fucking you're, guitar, you're probably t- approaching it the wrong. Burn way. that yeah. fucking guitar, buddy. <laughs> If I see you Wait, with a Chapman stick, again? I'm going to fight you on site. Yeah, what was the question? <laughs> I don't know. Got, <laughs> what's your topic? <laughs> oh, uh, Sorry, dude. What, what, or uh, non dude, or whatever uh, you have. Um, uh, uh, or, or. If you what had to step are on your spaghetti, individual you... taste in music? Right. What uh, instrument sounds and vocal styles right. do you oh, like the best? Instrument sounds oh, instrument sounds and vocal styles. Shredding, obviously. Yeah. I just like a really good fucking singer, man. And anybody yeah. in the band who just plays their <laughs> like role and sounds. has a bit of a personality, man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. Nice. Shred. Anybody who fucking rocks, dude. If you shred, that's cool. Yeah. I uh, I like stuff with guitar. Yeah. Distorted guitar. Oh, absolutely. Sure. Mostly. I More also than... love me a great piano ballad, though. Yeah. I'm yeah. just saying, like... As far as better cheers, have guitar, though. the most important thing to me is that there's some riffs. Heavy guitars. Mm. I like riffs the most. Yeah. Uh, in music. Yeah. I mean, I'll listen to, you know, obviously like anything else, but I like riffs the most. Fucking right. Fair enough. Riffs rock. <laughs> <laughs> riffs do rock. Yeah, wow. Weird. Rock and riffs. I'm, riffs I'm unique in Damn that weird. I like riffs. I like what are unique solos? traits yeah. have been unlocked. Another unique trait has been unlocked. Really? Oh, shit. I like beer I like and I like riffs. Damn, Damn dude. dude. Not a lot of people have that same combination, but I do. Wow, man. Do you like beards? Isn't that uh, that one YouTuber guy, Riffs and, riffs beards, and beards or something? Riffs okay, so beards? I think I went over this, but I watched uh, over Christmas. Oh, it was that, that horror anthology thing, mm-hmm. and they talked about the thing. And um, oh, Kurt Russell has a big ass beard in it, and I was like, "I ain't gonna grow a beard." Did you watch the <laughs> uh, Did you watch the new version of the thing too? No, nah. the remake is also fucking awesome. It's good. Both of them are. Great. I just assumed it wouldn't be as cool. You know, and I can understand why you might feel that way. Usually, I think of, like great classic movies, and they remake them, and I'm kind of skeptical too. But. Uh, Sure. I mean, help yourself I to guess. all my beers, guys. If, if you're if if you're offering <laughs> us Dan's beer, normally when I have beers for the band, they're down here. But these ones are in the fridge. Oh, so he's just personal beers. 
So uh, I will uh, be invoicing <laughs> for these. Guy doesn't know how to read the air. Hey? <laughs> He's out of the room. We're roasting him. Now, I did hear, and I don't know if this is true or not, and I could just be misremembering, but isn't the thing with Kurt Russell a remake of a different movie? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's based what? on an old movie, I think. Oh, the shit. The first The Thing is actually yeah. a the remake second, of The Thing. I think there was like an old, old one. Mm. Fuck me. I but it's no like... That's a, that's a John Carpenter, Carpenter movie, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking sick. It's got, the, it's got like the best fucking door of all yeah. time. One Though, of the best When movies. the dude's doing the... He's trying to resuscitate the guy and the fucking... The chest Hands come out? No, it's the chest cavity yeah. turns into jaws and just yeah. eats his fucking arms. So well, good. you just spoiled it for me. I haven't that's seen That's only it. one oh, you, part yeah. of it. Man, that's not even the craziest shit. I that's think not I've even seen, the tip of the You gotta watch iceberg. it. You will love it, dude. I think I I've seen it. clips of it like on Reddit every once in a while and just like, oh, here's a clip of dude, him it's, torching something. It's I don't know what's going on. It's so fucking good. And the concept is cool too, man. Yeah, like, like the idea is it's, it's fucking dope. It's rad. The only th- it's cool a thing documentary about- too. That's why you can't go to Antarctica. <laughs> yeah. The cool thing about the, <laughs> because the, the thing is the no, it's because it's a giant is- ice wall that holds the ocean in. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. It wasn't just a remake either, though. Like the second one that they did, like the newer one, it's it's kind of follows on that story. It's like so, like the next where, group of guys who yeah, showed up. Yeah, where like the shit? first one oh. ends, it, the next one kind of starts with that ending, and you're like, ah, oh, if you're like a okay, fan, it, okay. it like the pieces cool. kind of get tied together. That's kind of cool. It's pretty dope. Yeah. I'll have to check it out. And of course, you know the video productions has gotten better over the years. So. Yeah. But actually, they did a real fucking good job of making that movie look pretty realistic. Considering like the time it was made, yeah. it was like eighty six or something. The, uh, yeah, the effects were insane. Yeah, it was great. For and the it's time. all like a lot of it's like, well, I think all of it is practical effects. Like it's yeah, there's a lot of like animatronics that are yeah. like puppeteering and shit. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It is quite amazing how a lot of older movies like hold up so well. Like Jurassic yeah. Park. I mean, there is computer graphics you, in that. Thank you, thank but you. Oh, oh, shit. oh hell yeah, yeah. yeah thanks, those, bro. those, uh, yeah, those or ones. fucking Star Wars yeah. from like the seventies is like, yeah. damn, that's from the seventies. That that looks amazing. So that's a piece dope. of fucking human culture right there. Yeah, Judge Star Wars is, yeah, <laughs> the go-to Truth. character Binks. Yeah, yeah your boy Binks Binky Lord. boy, Binker, yeah. Binky Binky. boy. <laughs> Goddamn. Yeah, bar <laughs> jinx. <laughs> I was gonna. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> bar right. jinx. Uh, what's your shmash, take shmash, on? Shmash. What do you like about what styles of music you like? Yeah. Me, I I like shred. Yeah, shred is sick. Shredding. Yeah. I like you shred hey, hard. We, it's we, fucking we were, sweet. We were talking to Jono. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's hard to tell with Dan's kidding. glasses. <laughs> He's like, I was kidding. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I think I I tend to stray more towards like kind of just darker almost not evil but just like dark sounding shit so like mm. think of like uh anything from fucking seattle usually has that kind of vibe ah. you know that kind sad of boy heroin shit. Music. sad boy shit basically yeah. yeah so i don't know bands like uh marriages i remember ruth Rundle, chelsea wolf that kind of like darker gothy shit yeah i don't know anything yeah. you just said don't worry about it uh classic john o yeah dark. big titty goth <laughs> okay or like big titty goth <laughs> yeah big titty goth <laughs> john likes big titty goth yeah hey, no man, so i'm into there. is big titty goth <laughs> Uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, in terms of metal, I actually don't love a ton of like the really melodic stuff. I want just like heavy to the point of ridiculousness. So like Mushuga or yeah. like that band Carbomb or you like Necrophages? Or sure. Yeah, sorry, Necrophages. You like? Did you like them? <laughs> no, that's too fast. Ooh, really? Yeah, oh, I, I fucking not... love that album. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that kind of stuff. Also into like uh, you like more... Emperor and shit. Yeah, Emperor's yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, I mean, Isan solo stuff. Oh, is, Isan's shit's pretty good. Like a really cool blend of black metal and yeah. weird, sad boy, progressive shit. Was he on the boat when you played? He was. was. Yeah. Did you uh, soft come? Uh, almost. The second show, <laughs> they had to, like, they cut it off because, like, he was playing windy. on the pool deck. Yeah. And oh. it was too windy. And they're like, yeah, the stage is going to, like, blow over and kill everyone. So yeah. show's over. They did, like, yeah. three or four show, uh, three or four songs. Yeah. So, yeah, like that kind of stuff. Um, for sounds, I mean, I don't know. I guess just heavy and dark is kind of the answer. Fucking All right. dark and brutal. Here we go. Yes. We got a couple more here. We got any more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How, how does the band handle disagreements? Uh, we just put it under the rug. Just and, get mad. Yeah, yeah get mad. We, we have a, <laughs> We let it all bo- build up inside, and then ex- right at, and then explode and in then a parking till, lot, <laughs> and then wait till tour, and then absolutely go berserk. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess create we a mad list. We don't have. Yeah, 
There's not that many yeah. like full on disagreements. There's, yeah, it's more of just like dealing with the stress of being in a band. Yeah, that yeah. that yeah. that can add up. Yeah. But it's like as far when as you disagreements, have a we're pretty good at like just like, you know kind of we're pretty talking, good at communicating, talking yeah. about shit and being yeah, like not bad, yeah, you know. Yeah. At least we try to. I don't know. <laughs> it's like when you have a myself. girlfriend and y- you think you guys get along great. You're the best couple <laughs> in the world. And then you move in together. And then all the little stupid shit starts to annoy the piss yeah, out of you. it's worse than that. But, but then you spend 24 say, hours a day that, yeah, together gonna, for fucking times that by 10. five weeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in a much smaller space and everyone's farting the in whole time. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. eating like shit and farting the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop eating McDonald's! <laughs> you fuck! God damn it! <laughs> you piece of shit! Who's eating yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> Who's sp- spitting yogurt out of their mouth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's too much fucking mustard! Roasted! <laughs> 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 all right. Um, cheese politics. American Ooh. cheese is corrupt. It's all about Swiss cheese. Oh, the one with the holes in it? Hey, man. You guys are sleeping on aged smoked cheddar. Dude, there's Applewood. so many good goddamn cheeses out there. Oh, but yeah. if any cheese is like American, I would have thought it would be Swiss cheese. It's full of bullet holes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Let's go. roasted America. Is that Getting cheese a, a fucking child a from six a year old? Yeah. <laughs> is that a six year old gun? Six year old handgun. Jesus Christ. Damn, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo. You know, I've been really big into uh, the squeakers cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah. The oh. cheese curds, which is classic curds. Canadian, but also yeah, like, yeah. what is that? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. And then Jesus. also baby bells. I've never had a baby bell in my life until dude, like a couple coded. months ago. Oh, what? And Cow cheese. I get. I guess so. Well, it's got the cow on the package. Yeah, 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 yeah. but now like cow cheese. Uh, I I, cow now cheese. I always buy the like the sack. variety pack, the sack of them. Yeah, the yeah. sack, <laughs> and it's just like a whole bunch of different ones. And it's, yeah, it's just so tasty. You just like unzip it. It's like a mouthful of cheese. It's a perfect great. snack. The There's ones a, that are kind of wrapped in wax. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Take the wax off. Yeah. yeah. There's a if you're starting your cheese journey. There's a place downtown called Patty's Cheese Shop, Ooh, and they good. basically just only bring in like weird. Oh, wait, are really? you lactose intolerant? I am, yes. How come you're oh, dipping wait, in the what? cheese so hard? Most cheese either has no lactose or is very low in lactose. Is that right? Fun fact. So is the way it's the processed. perfect yeah. food. Yeah, it's so, literally the perfect food. Yeah. <laughs> cheese is the best. <laughs> as fact. as so you uh, ascend from milk, like when you turn milk into yogurt or Wonderful. cheese, as the bacteria, what the bacteria eats in the milk to turn it into the other stuff is the lactose. Oh, shit. No way. Yeah. I didn't know that. Fun fact. And the harder the cheese, the less lactose. So if you get like a nice <sighs> hard-ass white cheese, like... Uh, Parmigiana? Parmigiana? Like a, like yeah. Parmesan. Oh, nice Parmesan. Yeah, yeah, there's like no lactose in it. I had apricot... Uh, what was it? Apricot was it with Gurier ginger? the other day? Okay. I probably yeah, don't say is. it right. Gurier, Gurier, isn't it Gurier? Some some kind of French. I think word. it's pronounced Gurier. It's a scoff. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually <laughs> just all glottal stops. It's it just guck 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 guck. Oh god! That's the clip. That's the clip. Jeez. Fuck. That's our social media clip. Yeah. Um. Clip it. There's yeah. Short. Oh, you know. Okay, this is funny. So we got a cheese advent calendar. Oh, sick! <laughs> nice. How and constipated it, were you after no, December? That's fine, man. <laughs> and it was it was just like a little thing of cheese in each one, but it was oh, like, um, man, the best one was this Mexican cheese. Ooh. Oh. And like, it's kind of hard to find. Like, it, it's like they don't sell it very much. I don't know. Cool but story. It was so fucking good. What kind dude. of cheese is it? Yeah, like what? It's just like a super dank cheddar cheese with like a bunch of spices and shit in oh, it. It's so goddamn that's good. Cool. Yeah, cheese with oh. stuff in it is great, man. Like so chunks good. of fruit in it or chunks of like. Yeah, it has like, it has yeah. like jalapenos and stuff. Oh, it's like spicy. Nice. And like, oh, damn. Fuck, yeah, it's so good. There's a uh, No Frills has this really good cheese flight that you can get for like 10 bucks. And it's nice. like a bunch of different kinds of cheese that are not just the normal ones. Let's and do it. Yes. If, Next one, Centurion yeah. with cheese. <laughs> one bite of cheese for a hundred minutes. Down. I'd be down for that. <laughs> the but cent- one bite of cheese in hundred minutes. I could the cheese get. churion. Especially if suddenly drop dead from eating cheese. <laughs> uh, 
Was he? What was he doing? Sports? No, he's eating a hundred pieces of cheese. cheese. <laughs> your bowels just stop moving. <laughs> oh, God, your heart. Just- <laughs> Isn't that like a Simpsons clip where Homer's just eating cheese all night? <laughs> That sounds about right. That's, oh, yeah. A hundred slices of American yeah. cheese. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cheese fucking nice. rocks, dude. Well, yeah, We're almost uh, done here. I think we're pretty much done. There's well, Let's do one more question. One more question? All right. What do we uh, oh, there's a, there's a few good ones. I guess I could save them, but let's do this one. Um, well, I'm ex- one person I'm, sends a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, excited for the local metal battle shows. Just a fellow Edmontonian. Oh, for the uh, the Vakken battles. What's, what's Vakken? Oh, like? Yeah, Vakken, Vakken was sick. Wow, well, we've talked about I know it. who that is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we've yeah, talked yeah. about that lots. Like, um, Vakken was fucking sick. Is exactly what you would think yeah. the biggest, most awesome metal festival would be like. Yeah, it's yeah. dope. It's sorry. huge and sorry, epic. Jonah. We'll go again. <laughs> we got some good ones coming oh, up, though. Yeah, we got some good ones this year. Yeah. Oh yeah. All yeah. right, and then the next one, I'd love to hear you guys talk about your worst gear fails on tour, <laughs> live or in the studio. Oh, how about the last oh show in Edmonton? <laughs> Sounds like a great Patreon episode to me. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one is. Hey, you gotta go on the Patreon. All yeah, right, you're getting cut off. This is the end of the you bums. The paywall. I'll do an animated, uh, like thing thing closing, like gate closing. Oh, you should have curtains. Animator now? Yeah. Animator. You got to do a like a Terminator? Um, like a castle fucking drawbridge going like. I could do that. Yeah. Oh, so, right. you know what you should no, do? Curtains. A toilet yeah. flushing. Curtains. Would oh be yeah, we all get like, sucked into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, th- that can be how we end every episode. It's curtains. We're like, oh, it's curtains, and then it just there you go. All, all right, right, everybody, yeah. it's curtains. <laughs> curtains. 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 <laughs>